Good evening and welcome to Bastion 4. Uh, quick little video today, I just want to show you um, my most precious pen knife that I've got. Um, I've got a few pen knives and survival knives and bushcraft knives, you know, that I've collected over the years, but this one is, uh, it was left to me by my dad uh, when he passed away. Um, and he worked in the dockyard in Portsmouth Dockyard from when he was an apprentice. And um, it's a Royal Navy jackknife. Pretty sure it's a post-war one, but it's one of the many things that he acquired from the dockyard, I believe. And uh, let's go in and I'll show it to you now. I'll turn you around so you can see. Bastion 4 now, as you know if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that Bastion 4, apart from being a casemate, practically a bunker, <laughs> is also, these days, a rehearsal studio. So there we go, walk into the big room and I'll work here as well. So anyway, on the table there, I will zoom in on it. Royal Navy jackknife. So just let me set this camera up and we'll have a closer look. Right then, yeah, what I'll do, I'll fold it up first so you can uh, see it folded. And believe it or not, I have cleaned it up, but it is extremely old. It's got to be at least 70, probably 70 odd years old. Got lovely, I know it's not a war one either, one that's made during the war, because this shackle, it's all copper on the, um, the wartime ones and they're also dated on the um, on the here but it's not there is a mark on there it says Meissen that's the manufacturer and the, the number is 21306 now, 21306 that is um, like a, a stock number these knives were made by lots of different makers in Sheffield. Most of them, well, I think all of them, the British ones are made in Sheffield. The Navy one's got metal, one like of these metal scales on it. Um, got a lovely little screwdriver on the end there as well. And of course, not forgetting, close that up, because I have sharpened it. You got this, marlin spike which they use for uh, undoing knots and ropes and making nets and things like that absolutely this is my most prized knife i know it's not um anything flash or anything but it used to belong to my dad and like i said outside he was an apprentice he became an apprentice in the dockyard in 1954 actually the same month that elvis presley recorded when I first walked into Sun Studio. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, but I don't know where he got it from. Obviously being, working in the dockyard full of Navy and sailors, and he was always coming home with little things for me. I remember when I was a kid, he was, he knew a diver, dockyard diver. He used to dive on the, underneath the boats to check him out. But he'd always come home with a, a mask, a diver's mask for me. And not a rubbish one either, I mean a really good, obviously he was a dockyard professional diver, so um, yeah. So yeah, you'd know if this is a wartime one, by the, because um, it would have uh, the date on it, which this one hasn't. It's just, I think these were made, well, from the early 1900s and issued to sailors right up until 1983, from what I can find out. And, uh, yeah, just one of my prized possessions. There we go. And the sailors would have their names inscribed along here. And uh, there is something been scratched into it. 
that cane cave you can just about see it uh, not sure but yeah there's probably thousands of these in the dockyard of course in the dockyard what with all the like I say all the sailors and the ships and they all issue with one but my dad had it for years and years and years and then when he died it, it, I inherited a load of tools like a toolbox and this little beauty was in it I did clean it up a little bit but obviously it's taken a bit of a wearing and I have sharpened it as well so it's quite sharp now too but I love the patina on it it's so cool and on the spike yeah when they, these were issued and close out they would have a lanyard attached to it coming off like a little rope lanyard but obviously that's long gone on this thing <laughs> Yeah, so there you go, a family heirloom, my favourite that I've got, my most prized that I've got, shall I say, my old dad's jackknife, or clasp knife, I think some people call it a clasp knife, but I've always known it as a jackknife, so there you go, thanks for watching, and I'll see you when we're roving about sometime.